Where is Price? John Price was a reliable worker who was known to work hard and party hard. Despite being known for his hard drinking he was always one of the first employees to arrive at work. His absence instantly raised red flags amongst his co-workers. Remembering a comment John Price made the day before. His friend and co-worker decided to check on John Price, stopping by Price's house to see if his friend was there. The comment? Price told his co-workers that if he did not come to work the next day it was because his girlfriend killed him. While approaching the house, the friend noticed blood on the door when walking up and decided to alert the authorities. When the police arrived and got no answer they kicked in the door. The house was eerily quiet. As the officers entered the house there was nothing that immediately stood out of place. Police noticed the dining room table set with place cards and plates filled with meat and vegetables. Untouched. While making their way through the house officers discovered the skinned body of John Price. The body had no head. Upon further investigation of the house they found an incapacitated woman laid out on the floor, that woman would be identified as Catherine Knight. After verifying that Knight was alive they rushed her to the hospital. While police searched the house, an officer pulled back what he thought was a curtain to a room. After feeling the cold, wet, curtain against his arm the officer came to the horrifying realization that what he had just pulled back was no curtain at all, but the skin of John Price. Upon further inspection of the house, police came upon a simmering pot in the kitchen. In the pot? John Price's head. Recently Catherine Knight and John Price had gotten into an ugly argument. Knight had been pressuring Price to marry her, but Price did not want to marry again. In a fit of rage Catherine sliced Price across his chest. This led to the couple's separation. Knight moved out and Price tried to move on from his volatile relationship with Catherine Knight. Catherine Knight couldn't let go. Still having a key to John Price's house, Knight let herself in. John wasn't there but his kids were. She shipped the kids off to a sleepover at a friend's house. When John returned home later that night his house was empty. John sat angrily waiting for Catherine to return. Fuming, and having to be at work in the morning. He went to bed alone. Catherine returned to the house later that night and although John was upset at what Catherine had done with his kids, the two were intimate. The two fell asleep in each other's arms. Later that night Catherine woke up angry. She felt that John Price was using her and never had any intentions of marrying her. She made a decision right then that she would teach John a lesson. So she left John's and went back to her house, where she got her work tools. Catherine Knight was a skilled butcher at a meat processing company. She returned back to John's house where he was still asleep. She quietly climbed on top of him, raised her butcher's knife and stabbed Price in the chest. John popped up, sending Catherine crashing to the floor. John, not fully aware of what was going on rushed towards his front door but fell short from the loss of blood. Catherine would drag John's body back inside. Once inside Catherine would stab John an additional 36 times. While John laid on the floor dying Catherine just left him there. She went to the kitchen and put on a pot of water and began setting the table. She then dragged John to the kitchen where she began to skin John from his neck all the way to his toes. She skinned him in one piece. She hung his skin across a door and beheaded him. She would put his head in that boiling pot of water to make some type of stew. She cut up various parts of his body and made dishes out of them. When finished she made place cards at John's dinner table with the intention of feeding, Price to his kids. When done, Catherine sat down at the table to eat a plate she'd fixed for herself. She began eating John but it made her sick so she threw it out of the window. When she looked back at what she had just done, reality set in for Catherine and she decided to take her own life. She took a handful of sleeping pills with the intention of ending it all. When police arrived the next day along with medics they were able to save her and once stabilized she was charged with the death of John Price. Catherine Knight would become the first woman in Australia's history to be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.